Hello people, welcome back, thanks for tuning in. Today we're gonna be looking at these two products, Viviana straps against the Ursa straps. There's been a lot of things said about these two products. Ursa straps, I'm pretty happy with the Ursa product. I'm gonna try to not be biased about this right now, I'm gonna try to detach myself. Nobody's paying me to say this, I wish they were, because <laughs> it's January, so... I need some other source of income. No, I'm kidding. Guys that are Studio Economic, uh, send me this month. Try. I'm not sponsored by anybody. Ursus Trap have sent me some stuff in the past. Like I said, I'm going to try to detach myself from any... First of all, let's just start with the, the, with the packaging, I guess. Because <laughs> they're so sick, similar that I, I think we should point everything out. This clear plastic, Viviana logo, straps, ultra slim, breathable, customizable. This is the it's a waist strap and you got the sunfish logo over there. It tells you what is this designed for. Wizzy comes, electrosonics, and Heiser Saxcom audio. LTD, sure, and Tascam. Machine washable, made in Italy. It tells you the website, right? It comes with this little lady here, which I'm guessing Viviana is a girl's name. So I'm guessing this is her. I don't know. And she's wearing a really hot red waist strap yeah that's how this one looks this is the medium waist actually also strap sent me this on the last package they actually sent me this <laughs> i didn't buy this one they actually sent me this one it says Ursa straps, uh, medium waist, big pouch, soft light, ultra slim, breathable, wireless transmitter strap. Gives you what it is made of, machine washable. Pretty, even similar to what it says outside. Comes with the website, made in the UK, all the transmitters. But these guys have a bear. They have an animal here instead of a lady. I actually need to ask them, why Ursa? Let's open these guys. <laughs> oh, let's see. Get the Viviana out of here. For the Viviana strap, I don't know if this matters, but it's just a piece of plastic. A nurse is actually like a Ziploc bag. So in case you don't have any fancy bags, you can just keep them in this one. I don't know if that matters, but hey, we have to get down to every single detail here. <laughs> uh, I was not expecting to have the same colors. Uh, this one came nicely packed. This one came like this. Again, we're gonna have to be really picky here because these two things are pretty similar. This is the first time I've seen a Viviana strap. This is my first impression of a Viviana strap. I've seen the Ursa straps before. I have several of them, but this is the first time I'm looking at a Viviana strap. And the first thing I'm looking at it is it comes with this guy. This guy is actually provided the thing. With Ursa straps, you have to buy that separately. The pouch protectors. Comes with four pouch protectors. That's a thing to consider if you care about that. The Viviana strap came with this. A little chunky piece to seal them. And the Ursa strap is slightly thinner, longer. Little protectors. Again, the Viviana strap comes with it. Ursa strap, you have to buy that separately. This is the Viviana strap. Interesting. It comes with this logo at the very end of the strap. Viviana straps. The material, pretty nice material, feels pretty nice. You see, this is the thing that I, w I was expecting to have. It doesn't have the grippy side, this one. For the waist, they don't do the grip side. And I was really hoping to get one with the grip, because I wanted to compare the grippy side, but this one is apparently doesn't have it. The Velcro, they said it's like a low profile Velcro over here. It's a pretty nice Velcro. Feels pretty heavy duty. It's pretty nice, I mean, it is stretch. It's a little stretchy. Uh, in the pouch here you have the two color-coded things. It's pretty much the same way you use the other ones. I mean, I'm shaking this guy. Like it's pretty snug in place. This is like the main thing for them. The bigger pouch. Lock this microphone in here. To do your loopy 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 boop. They said that with one hand. You could do this with one hand. I actually need two hands so. That's how it looks. That was fairly painless. It was not that hard to do. Now, if we try to do that with a nurse strap, I can tell you right now, I have never I have never used this pouch in my nurse straps ever. I don't find it useful. I don't I don't I don't use it. And honestly, these pouches here on the side, I don't find them useful <laughs> in my opinion. You can just tuck them in. You can just tuck the cables, but that's just me. That's my preference. The branding for the Viviana straps is on the end. For Ursa straps is right here by the pouch. So yeah, that's how it looks. Let's try to do the same thing with the Ursa strap and let's see how fast it is. Ursa, 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 Ursa. It's also snug fit. Let's try stick this cable in here. Let's see how fast that is. I've, I've granted I have never used this cable. <laughs> this pouch, this pouch, I have never used this. 
but I've seen their videos and I know how they struggle. So I'm just gonna give it a try here, man. I'm really clumsy with my hands. So yeah, it's not coming easy. What I've seen them do is they stick their fingers down like crazy. Get them. Come on, bud. Come on. You really have to wiggle with this motherfucker. As you can see, that was that was a task. That was really hard to do. It's the freaking same texture. I'm 100% sure that they're using the same materials. I guarantee it. There's no way in hell they're not using the same materials, man. Oh, look at that. In the Viviana strap, this little pouch protection is not even for this. Because it will not stick in this side. How do you use it? What is this for then? Is it meant to go like, like this? That just looks ridiculous. What are these for then, Viviana straps? To close them? I don't understand. What is this for? I always thought this pouch was to protect your transmitters in here. But these guys, are, this is not sticky here. You see on the Ursa strap, you got this sticky stuff, so Velcro will, will attach to it. And then you can use it like that, right? Like it's not going anywhere. Like I'm 100% sure this is not going anywhere. Like I'm just being extremely aggressive right now. You know? You see it's coming out there. But I had the pouch protector. So it's not gonna go anywhere. And on this guy, I'm not I'm not confident I'm not confident of doing that. You see? It fell out! Shit. You need the pouch protector, bro. Why are you guys not using it? Like you need this sort of protection in your pouches, man. I was being extremely violent in that shake by the way. I have had pouches coming out of these straps before, on the Ursa straps. So that's why I always use these things, no matter what. That happened on a thigh pack, not on the other one. But Viviana straps, tell me what is this for, bro? Because I thought it was to protect the pouch here, but this side is not sticky like the Ursa one. I'm not sure what's happening over here. I never used this pouch before. I just haven't had the need for it. So that's why these pouches on the side for me is not a selling point for any of these products. Uh, maybe I am gonna start in, in, wanna start incorporating them, but as of right now, they're not things that I look in my straps. Maybe I should. I'm gonna try in the next show. I'm currently gonna be working on an uh, independent feature film. I'm gonna try to use those and see what's up. Uh, but other than that, I don't actually see myself using these pouches. And this is a Sanken COS-11. Their cables are pretty thick. If you use one of the DPA cables, I think the Ursa pouch will be, uh, it wouldn't be that hard to use because now, rock this cable a little bit, leave enough to be wired, and then now this guy, just stick it in there. You see? Grab it on the other side. Because the DPA cables is pretty darn thin then you plug it in there i mean that's a pretty clean look and then you can proceed to wear this wherever you want to and now if i were to use this same setup the same microphone with the viviana strap which the pouches are a little bigger i'm kind of curious that now it's gonna be a problem okay here bada boom bada bam okay we grab it like that like pretty easy honestly this is easy to do there you go. It's pretty easy to put them in the, this one. And then you just get enough cable to rig it. They both feel pretty good. I mean, I, I must say, this is a pretty well designed. They feel good. Uh, if you didn't know anything, you would say that the same product. 100%. There's a couple differences. Yeah, I wish they would have sent me the ones with the, the grippy side. Because I really wanted to see the grippy side of these things. Uh, maybe in the future they do. Yeah, that's, that, that, I, don't, I don't like that. The Viviana, I don't like the Viviana strap for one reason. Sure, they include the little pouch protector. But it's not of use. Because it's not sticking. You know what I'm saying? Like this is a faulty design. You see this guy's Ursa strap, they do apply that thing on the both sides so Velcro can attach on them. But these guys are so confident that the product is not gonna come out of this strap that they didn't do that. And I like this. Maybe I'm just setting my ways, but I like this this feature here. All the, all the straps are different, like the Neopex, Viviana straps, and Ursa straps. They're all different. Another thing people were saying they're a bit different is the, the Velcro. Viviana straps has a triangle, more like a play button. And Ursa straps has this little round shape. Is this, it feels the same to, to my hands. It feels the same. I'm 100% sure this is the same materials. Which one to buy? I like Ursa straps. This is not a closed market, right? This, and I don't think Viviana straps is going to affect Ursa straps in any way or shape or form. I like to see people create things. If you're creating something, if you're doing something to move forward in life, I like that. 
I don't have any 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 beef against that. If you're creating stuff, by all means, man, it's all everything is fair game. Am I gonna start my company tomorrow and create straps? Call them the Roxana straps or something? Uh, no, I'm not going to. It serves a purpose. Viviana straps and Ursa straps. They have the two different demographics. You know, there's people that are gonna hate Ursa because they I don't know. People are gonna hate because they wanna hate, right? Period. S plain and simple. The people who hate Ursa straps are gonna buy Viviana straps. And the people who hate Viviana straps are gonna buy Ursa. And the people who want to be hip, you know, and trending, they're going to keep using the Neopex. They do the same thing. They do have the color-coded thing on the new ones, Viviana and the Ursa. I'm going to bring it on set for my next show, this one. I'm going to check it out. This is my first impressions. I need to use them in order to give you, like, a more honest review. And if you ask me which one to get, whatever you feel like, man. Honestly, they, they serve a purpose. I'm going to keep rapping Ursa. I like him. I like these guys. I like what they're doing because they're not just creating Ursa strap. They're actually creating things. This was the first thing that launched them, right? The straps. And then they, they came up with all the other things like the foamies. Which a lot of people said that it was a controversial thing as well because the hush laughs were there before. And these guys were there before. So they're doing products. They're, they're creating things, you know. Like I like that. I like when people create stuff. So that's where I'm standing. I really want to see where Viviana goes because they're taking a lot of heat. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know where your stands. Where you stand on this? Matt Price did another video doing this, going over this, guys. If you want to check it out, I'm going to leave a link over there. All right, so now I'm just going to do a quick demonstration to see how fast can I place these transmitters in there. Like the actual packs. Like if I'm rushing, if I'm on, on a set where I need to do it like real quick, how fast can I do this? I got my transmitter. I got my strap. We're going to get the timer starting. Start. Okay, so eight seconds. Okay, try the Ursa strap. I'm kind of nervous. Actually, I've never done this before. Hands over here. Start. Stop. I was pretty fast, actually. I'm pretty surprised. I never done that. But like I said, I've been using Ursa straps for over three, over six months now. Before any of these guys existed, there was the grandfather, the one and only, the Neopex. Let's get the timer ready. Hands in the air. Start. There you go. It's by far the fastest. Neopex is the fastest. Okay guys, so now we're gonna do the water resistant test. We got Neopex, we got Viviana straps, and we got Ursa straps. So what I'm gonna do for this, I'm not gonna put my transmitters in here because you're crazy. Uh, I'm gonna put little pieces of paper inside of these pouches. If the paper becomes wet, that means the transmitter is wet. So there's a little piece of paper on all of them. I got a bottle of water. This is gonna be a little bit of aggressive test, but I'm gonna do them all. Let it run for a couple minutes and then we will review what happens. Alright, let's stop this nonsense. That was about a minute. Alright, let's start with the MP. I got a dry piece of paper. Alright, let's try Viviana. Ooh, some water got into the top of the Viviana. It's actually dry. Only the corner is not dry. Check the Ursa. This is fully wet. And that was really, it got really wet. The Ursa got completely wet. Viviana got a little wet and Neopex was completely dry. What does this tell us? Ursa is not water resistant. The Ursa the Viviana is somewhat water resistant. And the Neopex is surprisingly the freaking king. Nobody sweats like that. <laughs> so that was a water test. Okay, so in conclusion, yeah, some people are gonna say they're the same because they they look the same They have a different features here and there, but at the end of the day, they're quite similar. They serve a purpose So let me know what you guys think one thing I would say to Viviana straps is to my eyes Everything looks similar keep doing it because there's nothing wrong by doing it find something that is your core People is gonna recognize you for that feature and they're gonna know you are that's your strap I'm gonna be testing them how they look after a couple months uh, the water resistant test I don't think it was too fair because <laughs> I kind of throw too much water on the Ursa one But uh, I'm gonna try to do a different one. Uh, I'm actually war I'm actually gonna be wearing them all day to see how much sweat is actually gonna get through them thank you so much for watching people i appreciate all you guys let me know your thoughts i'll see you guys tomorrow peace